here. Ooh, welcome back, everyone. We're making a sauce now, Chef Bud. Yeah. For our sandwich, our yes. open face our sandwich. Our open face sandwich. Yeah, we're going to put this, I'm going to get just a little bit of water here. Okay. You've done a little ginger in there? Fresh no, okay, ginger. So soy sauce, ginger, um, a little bit of sesame oil. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to put some lime in there. And the ginger's fresh ginger, okay? Mm hmm. So don't try to sneak out and don't use fresh ginger. Right? You got to use fresh ginger. Yeah, that's I think what you're that that's probably a, a good it's thing to do. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add some lime to it because you got to have some sort of really acidity in this thing, right? For sure, yeah, because it, it needs to feel like at the beach. Yes. Yes, that's what we're here for. I was startling. Did you know that I was in, I believe it was so hot. <laughs> I know. I just keep going, but I, I think it really phased me really bad. Really? Well, it was early in the year. I didn't think it'd be that hot. Oh, yeah. Anyways, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just pour this in here, mm -hmm. and this is going to thick it up because okay. we want to bring it to a boil, okay? Okay. Couple, couple little hints to this. I'm ready. Fresh ginger, like I said, is a big thing. Okay. The um, Kikuma low sodium, I think, is a must. Just but because, you like the low well, sodium. Well, yeah, it's not as near, obviously, not near as salty. Right. And what we're going to do is, as this boils, we're going to pull this out of there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jab just a little bit of butter in there, and that residue that's left in there, we're going to put our bread in. Oh, so you're so going to toast bread, it in yes, that. Yes, so the bread will have some sort in of. In the action. Yes. Yes. In the action. Right? <laughs> Look at all those people that are like, hey, you guys are goofy. <laughs> no. Anyways. So, hey, another little hint here. Okay. That we're not going to do today, but we could. And I'll tell you why we're not going to do it today. I love telling honest stories about the kitchen. Okay. If we were going to speed this process up, what would we put in here? Cornstarch. Yes. And when I left my house, I was like, grab the cornstarch. And then you didn't. And then remember last time I was here, I said, do we have... Cornstarch. And you said... No. It's just awful. It's I need to have cornstarch. No. But you know what? Cornstarch is one of those things hey. that you don't have. No. Will you reach in there and grab just a little bit of sugar, like a sugar packet? Oh. we got to put a little sugar into this. How or about, that big thing there. How about yeah. this? Will that yeah. work? This is just sugar, folks. Okay. From uh, the, this is from the break room. And it's probably from the <laughs> coffee people that bring in coffee. Uh-huh. Okay. So we're just going to put some sugar in there. Okay. Because you know why? Hmm. Well, when it comes to stuff like this, I and, and this is a very true story. This is not being silly. I really like when my um, when my sauces have a sweet element to okay. them. And like I said, this is gonna cook down. If you uh, if you want to speed it up, you throw a little cornstarch in it. If you had it, I have like five thousand pounds of it at home. For some reason, I didn't bring it. But anyways, it, it'll cook. It'll cook down. It'll thick it up, and then we'll use it to go over the top okay. of our, sa our salmon, our, our tuna. Now, a couple things. First thing, don't be afraid to do this tuna, okay? Because tuna, people get afraid because that's ah, raw fish. Oh. Listen, as long as you handle it properly, you're never going to have a problem, okay. all right? I preach that constantly. The other thing about it is, is when you do it, take the time to cook it, flip it, cook it, and then stick it in your cooler. It'll be just fine. There's nothing bad going to happen to you, It's okay? going to be great. And the other thing about it is um, you cannot go wrong eating good fish, fish mm. that's been handled properly. Now, okay. if you got, if you had some funky fish in your life, I'm assuming that the people who handled it or cooked it didn't do a very well job, and I apologize for that because <laughs> I... You're apologizing for I'm the I'm a whole huge advocate yes. of fish. Yes. Okay. Are you not? Well, I suppose. You don't like fish because no. you are vegetarian. I know. We have to go to break now. Okay. Can Bye. We, can we finish this up when we come back? Yeah, we'll pour this in and I'll, I'll toast the bread and we'll be ready to go. Wonderful.